16 years and over $330 million later, the United Nations-backed Extraordinary Chambers in the Courts of Cambodia held its final hearing on Thursday, rejecting a genocide appeal by Kyu Sam Phan, the last surviving Khmer Rouge leader. The Supreme Court Chamber does finds no merit in Kyu Sam Phan's arguments regarding genocide and rejects them. As the ruling was read out, 91-year-old Sam Fen, who will spend the rest of his life behind bars, sank into his seat. He had been found guilty of crimes against humanity, genocide and breaches of the Geneva Conventions in 2018. In power for four years, from 1975 to 1979, the Khmer Rouge caused the deaths of a quarter of the population from execution, starvation and labour camps in its goal to abolish modernity in the nation. A spokesperson for the tribunal said Thursday's ruling marked the beginning of the end of the year's long trial. The decision uh, today uh, made by the Supreme Court Chamber is a new milestone for the ECCC. This is uh, the historical day uh, for the Cambodian people and especially for the victim of the Khmer Rouge regime. But coming so many years after the mass killings, some survivors feel as though the tribunal was an empty exercise. The courts having convicted just three people, most of the regime's senior figures, including Pol Pot, having died by the time the court was created. It is good news for Cambodia that the only surviving Khmer Rouge leader has been convicted. I am happy, but I regret we could not convict those who died. With the trial now over, the special court will close its doors as it enters a residual period in which it focuses on getting its archives into order to disseminate educational information about its work.